6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. This launch was timed down to the second to ensure the automated transfer vehicle on top of this Ariane 5 rocket would be released into an orbit that exactly matched that of the International Space Station. The craft is called Jules Verne after the 19th century writer and will become the largest supply ship for the station when the space shuttle is retired in 2010. It's the biggest and most complex spacecraft Europe has ever built, about the size of a double-decker bus. It's carrying food, clothing, spare parts, water, oxygen and fuel and is the first spacecraft with a built-in homing system, which means it can find its own way to the space station without having to be remote controlled. It's laser guided in with pinpoint accuracy. These pictures are computer simulations and in real life, the two craft connected exactly to plan. The ATV will dock with the International Space Station for up to six months and astronauts can get into it without spacesuits to unload the new supplies and store waste material. It isn't just a supply vessel. The four main engines and other small thrusters will be used to move the International Space Station to steer it round space debris and keep it on its proper orbit. Unlike the Space Shuttle, the ATV is not a reusable craft. When the supplies have been unloaded, it undocks, and both it and its cargo of rubbish will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. A space waste incinerator. <laughs> 